Have you ever wondered why some relationships feel like they're straight out of a fairy tale, while others seem to be navigating a never-ending maze of misunderstandings? Or maybe you've wondered why some people are clingy, while others need more space. These relationship phenomena are often traced back to the hidden keys of our relationship dynamics, called attachment styles. Attachment styles are the hidden keys that can unlock the mysteries of your personal communication blueprint, formed in early childhood, but affecting you even today. Attachment styles shape how you connect with others, how you handle conflict, and ultimately, how happy and fulfilled your relationships are. But before you throw in the towel and decide to call it quits, consider this. These differences often boil down to how you understand and adapt to each other's needs, influenced significantly by your attachment style. And I know this might sound like psychobabble at first glance, but I assure you, it's not. Today, we're venturing further into the complex world of attachment styles, with a special focus on those who are secure attachment types. I'll also provide you with practical, actionable tips you can start using immediately for healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Trust me, you don't want to miss those. First up, let's take a look at the roller coaster relationship between a secure attachment type and a fearful avoidant attachment type. Here's Sarah. She's a secure partner who is confident, self assured, and at ease with intimacy. She is definitely a secure attachment type. And then we have Alex, who struggles with closeness yet craves affection. He's our fearful avoidant type. Sarah's steady and reassuring nature offers Alex a glimpse of how rewarding closeness can be, potentially easing his fears. However, Alex's pattern of alternating between seeking love and pushing it away can challenge their connection, sometimes frustrating Sarah. Through effective communication and mutual understanding, Sarah and Alex have the opportunity for personal growth and strengthening their relationship. Sarah's consistent support and patience can encourage Alex to gradually become more comfortable with intimacy, demonstrating the positive influence of secure attachments. Diving deeper into the world of attachment dynamics, we encounter the intriguing pairing of Taylor and Sam. Taylor, with her anxious attachment style, navigates her relationships with a heart that yearns for closeness, yet trembles at the thought of solitude. She's a whirlwind of emotions, always seeking reassurance, yet fearing abandonment at every turn. Then there's Sam, the embodiment of stability and reassurance, whose secure attachment style makes him the calm and Taylor's storm. He is patient, understanding, and ever so reassuring, offering Taylor the safe haven she craves. Sam's unwavering calm and reassuring presence can become a beacon of hope for Taylor, soothing her fears of being left behind. His commitment is evident in every action, every word, providing the security that Taylor desperately seeks. However, Taylor's constant need for reassurance and fear of abandonment pose a challenge to Sam's enduring patience. It's a delicate balance, requiring Sam to navigate Taylor's emotional landscape with care and understanding, while Taylor learns to trust in Sam's commitment and stability. Their story underscores how love, understanding, and patience can transform differing attachment needs into a harmonious and fulfilling partnership, emphasizing growth and compromise. Now, let's look at the relationship between a secure attachment type and an avoidant attachment type. In this scenario, we find Chris, a figure of fierce independence who cherishes his freedom above all, perfectly embodying the avoidant attachment type. Alongside him stands Kirsten, the personification of steady support and unwavering security, a true secure attachment type. Their relationship becomes a fascinating exploration of the delicate dance between independence and intimacy. Chris, wary of closeness for fear of losing his cherished independence, initially keeps his distance. Kirsten, with her patient and understanding demeanor, does not push, but rather demonstrates through her actions that love and independence are not mutually exclusive. While Chris's strong preference for independence can sometimes make Kirsten feel undervalued or pushed aside, her persistence in understanding and Chris's gradual willingness to embrace vulnerability paved the way for a deeper connection. Kirsten's non-invasive approach and gentle persistence are key, slowly coaxing Chris from his self-imposed cave of solitude and showing him the true value of intimacy without the loss of self. Their journey highlights how patience, understanding, and compromise 
can harmonize their different attachment styles, balancing independence with intimacy, and showcasing the potential of mutual respect in nurturing a close relationship. Finally, we have the secure attachment type with another secure attachment type. Now we have two people, Mike and Gracie. These two people are both secure attachment types. Both are confident, emotionally in tune, and deeply understand each other, creating a dynamic many consider to be the ideal relationship. In this union, magic happens when two secure souls meet. They are both in tune with their emotions as well as each other's, setting a strong foundation for what comes next. Communication in their relationship flows freely, allowing them to support each other's personal growth and handle conflicts with empathy and compassion. This foundation of mutual respect and support defines their bond, illustrating an ideal partnership built on trust, respect, and support. Both partners navigate life's challenges with understanding and compassion, making their connection a beautiful reminder of what's possible when two people fully comprehend and respect each other. While it may seem like a dream, it's important to remember that no relationship is without its challenges. However, the strength of Mike and Gracie's Secure Secure Partnership lies in their ability to deal effectively with anything life throws their way. Their bond exemplifies the profound connection achievable when two people truly understand and support each other, proving that even in the face of adversity, their relationship can thrive. Seeing these scenarios unfold, it's clear that the magic ingredient in healthy relationships is understanding, not just of our own attachment styles, but of our partners as well. So whether you're a secure attachment type, anxious attachment type, avoidant attachment type, or a fearful avoidant attachment type, here are those quick tips I promised you to forge stronger, healthier connections. Practice open communication. Share your feelings, fears, and needs openly without judgment. Be patient. Understand that growth takes time and that everyone's journey is unique. Show empathy. Try to see the world through your partner's eyes. Understanding their perspective can transform your relationship. Maintain independence. Remember, a healthy relationship is about complementing, not completing each other. Seek support. Don't be afraid to ask for help, whether from friends, family, or professionals. You're not alone. Remember, understanding attachment styles isn't about labeling or boxing ourselves in. It's about unlocking deeper connections with ourselves and those we care about. How does your attachment style play out in your relationships? Drop your stories in the comments below and let's connect, learn, and grow together. Remember, love isn't about finding the perfect match in attachment styles. It's about understanding, respecting, and loving each other through our differences. So keep loving, keep learning, and if you found this insight as fascinating as I do, make sure to watch this video next for more eye-opening attachment style content. For more life-changing communication content, Make sure to join the Mindful Communication Revolution by subscribing too. Remember, understanding yourself is the key to connecting with others and that your evolution is in the revolution. Let's get communicating. I'll see you online soon.